This is Kate Masters for the Frederick News Post, and today I'm reviewing Carriage House Inn in Emmitsburg. This is another historic Frederick site whose ivory paint inspired the name of the first restaurant ever established there. It was called the White House, and it was first built in 1953, but late owner Jim Hans bought the restaurant and changed the name to Carriage House in the late 1980s. Since then, it served a menu of very classic American cuisine. Steak and seafood are big sellers, including the filet Oscar, which is a filet mignon topped with lump crab meat and Bernays sauce. I can tell you that the filet comes to the table beautifully seared with this decadent cream sauce that has just enough vinegar to cut some of the richness. My steak was a little tough for a filet mignon, but the sweet crab definitely adds to the dish, and it marries pretty well with the iron tang of the filet. Every entree is also served with a side of potatoes, which, in my experience, took the form of these beautifully cooked wedges sprinkled with salt and pepper. If you're just looking for seafood, I can recommend the buttery scampi, which is served with scallops, shrimp, and more lump crab meat. The scallops were seared and tender and did a really good job of soaking up all the garlic flavor from the dish. The crab was also delicious because it was all drenched in the same tarragon butter sauce, which is pretty hard to dislike. All that seafood is served on a bed of nicely al dente linguine, but it also comes with two slices of grilled focaccia, which adds a nice smokiness to the dish. When I visited, Carriage House was also serving a specialty salad that was made with spinach and pickled blueberries, which imparted this very nice, gentle acidity. The plate surprised me because it feels kind of weird to go on and on about a salad, but I really liked this one. The earthiness of the spinach paired well with a sharp lemon vinaigrette and the aforementioned blueberries. You also get another burst of tartness from crumbled feta and red onion rings. The whole plate is sprinkled with toasted almonds, too, which adds crunch and yet another layer of flavor. For my full review, click the link in the description.